with a reflection. Neela's Reflection Written by Ariel Zilberberg Illustrated by Eduardo Podge Out past the lake, on a warm summer night, deep in the forest, the sky glittered bright. The fireflies came when the skies all grew dark to light up the grass blades, the leaves, and the bark. In green, red, and orange, they lit while they flew. That is, all but one, who just glowed a dull blue. No matter the task, or the challenge or sport, poor Neela, it seemed, always came up just short. She stared in the lake with a grumpy, mean pout and said to herself, things don't ever work out. There was that one time that I cooked a souffle or put on a tutu and danced a ballet. Singing a song wasn't quite a success and building sandcastles is always a mess. And as she looked down from her point of view, she looked even smaller and a shade paler blue. Now Neela felt tired and full of frustration as three flies approached in a perfect formation. They blinked all at once in a straight line they flew. That's great. Neela grumbled, more things I can't do. Gracie glowed green. She was smart as a whip. Zigging and zagging, she flew with some zip. She'd tell you the facts and then make up some more on beetles or birds or a large dinosaur. Michelle lit up orange, was strong and had sass, with spunk and a spirit no one could surpass while Daniel shined yellow and liked to relax, to swim in the lake with some worms as his snacks. The three seemed quite happy, but Neela just stewed as Gracie approached her to brighten her mood. Why sit here and mope all alone on the shore? There's so much to see and so much to explore. We're off to go searching for bright shooting stars to look up and fly among Venus and Mars. It all sounded fun, Neela had to admit. It had to be better than wanting to quit. Maybe she'd try just one final time, she thought as she gathered her courage to climb. She headed straight up with her heart full of glee until she felt splat and crashed in the tree. She fell to the ground with wet tears down her face to looks of great shock from both Daniel and Grace. She wibbled and wobbled as she flew away. Don't go, cried Michelle. There's a storm on the way. She made her way back to her spot by the lake. Her ego was battered. Her head had an ache. So down in the dumps and filled up with dejection, she looked down to see her imperfect reflection. A strong, gusty breeze made her pause and then stop. She felt on her head just a single raindrop. The one turned to two and then two drops to three as Neela raced back to hide out in the tree. Loud, thunderous booms made the whole forest shake as raindrops bombarded and smashed in the lake. The dark clouds rolled in while winds from the north caused all the wet branches to sway back and forth. Neela hid out as the storm reached its peak until she was shocked by a loud, piercing shriek. For Daniel had made a most dreadful mistake and found himself stuck under rocks past the lake. He'd ventured too far in the hopes of a snack, 
but now found himself with no way to get back. Neela sought help by the shore, on the ground, but try as she might, there was none to be found. Not foxes or frogs or a firefly light was there to help Daniel come out of his plight. With fear in her heart, but a spark in her eye, Neela exhaled and looked up to the sky. With no one around, there was no other choice. She yelled, hang on tight, in her bravest, strong voice. Then off Neela flew to the eye of the storm, when something around her felt bright and felt warm. Her blue light, it dazzled, it blazed in the skies. It burned with the glow of a thousand small flies. She zoomed to the rocks, and when she was near, she heard Daniel screaming, Please, Neela, I'm here! She freed frightened Daniel, and with a great flash, flew over the lake in one final fast dash. The moon now shone bright, and the clouds had now cleared. That once mighty storm was now gone, disappeared. For once, feeling proud, with a head full of hope, Neela flew over the lake's grassy slope. But as she looked down in the water's direction, she saw something new. Her amazing reflection. But this time her blue wasn't dull or too pale. It glowed like a fly who did not fear to fail. So no longer scared, or too shy to go play, Neela flew in to now lead the way. And off they all flew, each one into the night, among the bright stars and a brilliant blue light. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to the story. If you like this story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.